Jason. This is Ashley, obviously. Ashley. <laughs> uh, we are a married couple, and we are the Dreamers Road Show. If you didn't already know that. Yep. If you guys are subscribed and know all this about us, just bear through it. But if you're new to our video and you're checking our tour, tour 2.0 video, <laughs> um, please like us. Uh, here on YouTube or subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Like us on Facebook. Yep. Follow us on Instagram. And yeah. Let's Should be getting this right by now, but I still can't. Come. Yeah, after all. You'll this learn, time. but subscribe because we're goofy. We're hilarious, we not should. in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what you guys are all here to see is the new and improved Sunny. So let's get to it. Yep. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start outside again. Um, our bus is a 2007 Chevy Duramax. It's a um, express uh, body um, or chassis with the school bus body on the back. Um, and it is diesel, obviously, a Chevy Duramax. Um, yeah. That about it? I think that's about it for this part of it. <laughs> it's me. Okay, so for you guys who have followed us the entire time, the bus is no longer yellow. It is now gray. And a lot of people are like, why would you paint it gray? That's boring, blah, blah, blah. But that's just, if you guys have seen the inside of the bus, you guys would know we like gray. It's very simple and, right, elegant and Oh, elegant. yeah. <laughs> it's not even a word. Anyways, we like gray. And we also put on some nice words and tried to do some artwork it's only on one side so far but within time we will do the other side but uh yeah this is supposed to be a dream catcher in case you guys didn't know that i did it so if you don't like it that's okay i think these look like blueberries but jason says they look fine but other than that I think the paint turned out pretty good. They look like delicious blue <laughs> One of my favorite parts about painting the bus, we were able to give her him a name. Ta-da! If any of you didn't already know... We named the bus after my dad. That was my dad's nickname, Sonny. Um, passed away quite a few years ago, but we uh, dedicated the bus to him. So he can go everywhere we go. Yep. And now he has his own name tag. Woo -hoo. On to the next part. Oh, let's go inside. Woohoo! Welcome in to Sunny, the Dreamers Roadshow bus. Um, we are going to show you up front first. Um, not big remodels up here, but we did put a new driver's seat in. We got this out of an old school bus. Um, there, do we have some clips of the in a previous no. video? <laughs> uh, we didn't get any video of that, but, uh, if you're a Patreon, there's a goofy video of me <laughs> getting stuff out of the bus that we took this out of, but, uh, yeah, we got this out of an old school bus. It swivels, so that's why we we wanted it. Um, and we have blinds up front here for privacy at night. Blinds on the door and a curtain. And this is where we hang all of our junk. Our yeah. arrows. Our arrow coat rack. That match our motif. Has uh, been through the paces already <laughs> with winter here. But yeah, so this is the front. All right, two big things that we improved since our first uh, tour video. Uh, one would be this uh, cabinet area keeps all our junk. We have plenty of junk still. We're pretty but good. But at least it's organized. Yeah, up top we have random stuff. This is like <laughs> our medicine cabinet kind of area. Our uh, electronic area more electronics, all our DVDs down there, and hidden in there is the nasty toilet. Why don't you show them the nasty toilet? 
because it's nasty and I hit you. <laughs> but it's easily hidden so nobody can, when people come to visit, it's out of sight, out of mind. Yep. On and to the next. Number ones, no number twos. Yeah. <laughs> people say that sometimes, but you don't need to know that anyway. Uh, next thing over here. There's we, a bee. There's a bee that we just put in. A new addition. Get him out. <laughs> All right, now that we got the B out of here, you're the pain in the butt. Uh, we'll get back to it. Uh, our next thing that we did, upgrade it, was this pull down table that we have here. Um, we have a mirror when it pulls down into the table, and all you do is put it up. Go ahead and demonstrate. Okay. We just slide this over here, and you take this little post out. You could just easily just take this out. <laughs> Actually, has to figure it out how you do it easily. But you just take this leg out, put it on up, and it just snaps up there. Out of sight, out of mind. Yep. And actually just put this nice tapestry here. Um, we did have something else on here originally. It didn't work out for us. But uh, we had some cut some little pieces of wood and painted them. And glued them on there. But the glue I decided to use didn't work out for us. But, but we have this and it looks really nice. Yeah. And if you ask why we need it to lift up, it opens up a lot of room for seating. Yeah, if it was ever a point where we did have some guests over, um, for any reason... Um, Ashley's uh, family over um, to stay in the bus for a couple of days. We could put a pack and play here if we needed to. Yeah, it just opens it um, up. We also have this ottoman that has storage in it, and it's a second seat for the table, uh, along with the other um, rocker chair. Chair. So I'll let you put the table back down, and we'll get to uh -huh. the other part. I'm going to put the table back. Hello there. <laughs> um, the next thing, while Jason's still putting up the table, uh, I think is, I almost got it now. <laughs> is uh, something we wanted when we first built the bus a year ago, but we didn't have time to build it. But now that we've been parked up for a while, we had plenty of time, and Jason did a really good job. It is this beautiful bench, lots of seating, and room for napping. My favorite part of the bench has to be the sign that we got from the old bus that we got the driver's seat from. We just picked that thing drive. You guys didn't didn't already know that. But uh other than just sitting on it, it's extra storage. We have we put in a lot of extra storage into this thing with the new renovations, but this is the battery bank, which is very dirty, but it's for batteries and it does the trick. And the middle one is our dirty stinky clothes which looks like we need to do laundry and this Put one quarters <laughs> in the couch cushions yeah, there is. this one's empty but it's gonna be the dog food container right in there but uh they do have dog food before you say they don't have dog food they have tons of dog food since we're over in this area i also wanted to mention this beautiful thing it is a dream catcher oh, yeah. But uh, in case you guys don't know, we did Old Homes Day, which is, well, it's Community Days, not Old Homes Day anymore, but we did Community Days, and uh, which is where we set up the bus, let people walk through, and we had a game, and we sold merch, and a woman and a man that turned out, right, turned yeah, out that we were story. related. I feel bad that we don't know the, remember their names, but. Well, the woman's name was Angel. Yeah. But uh, it turns out we were related in some way. I doesn't surprise me up here everybody always says that we're related but she loved the bus and she told Jason she wanted to make me something and I came back from watching Bug sleep shout out to Bug <laughs> this is his favorite bus uh, I came back and she walked up and she gave us this gorgeous thing that she made in like less than an hour yeah which blows my mind but it's absolutely gorgeous and we love it we keep moving it around because we don't want it to get damaged or anything because we absolutely love it. But other than that, 
Yeah, that's my spiel. I guess I'll take it back to Jason now. <sighs> Your turn. My turn again. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to talk about the kitchenette area. Kitchenette. Um, kitchenette. Um, this hasn't changed. This is our original counter and cabinet that we had gotten from a thrift store when we built the bus. Um, we did repaint it to match the color scheme now. Um, we have a sink. We do not have running water, but we have this nice jug here that has water come, good water stream coming out to do our dishes and stuff. Does the trick. Um, I tried to hook up water when we first moved in and it was giving me troubles, but it hasn't really been an issue for us um, doing it this way. So we're just going to keep it that way. Um, We've added some uh, some areas for um, plates and cups, cups and, and such over here. Um, if you guys remember our first video, first tour video, um, this was the bathroom originally. <laughs> uh, once you live in a bus and you know what works for you, it didn't make any sense why I put it there. <laughs> but this made a lot of sense for the pantry, so that's what it is, it's the pantry. I have tons of food in here. Um, this is our... I have a countertop that we can slide in and out. We can take it off. Um, stove unit can be slid away. Um, and then down below we have just a cooler. Um, just a plain old glue cooler down there. Um, it keeps our drinks cold. Does the trick. Yep, we have pots and pans hidden behind it. And that's about that for the kitchen, right? Yep. Oh, and our beautiful junk, whatever, this basket. <laughs> They're pretty cool, though. Picked that up at the yard. This too. is my area where I put my keys and stuff, and then this is my area where I put all my other junk. <laughs> so basically, it's his junk drawer. Yep. <laughs> all right. On to the bedroom. The bedroom. La la. All right, when you come, first come in, um, other than the things I already showed you up here, up in our compartment up here that was um, part of the bus, obviously. Um, we keep our first aid kit here now. Um, but we keep our stinky shoes up there. I hope none of you people have a smell of vision out there because it stinks in there. <laughs> My stinky work boots and sneakers are up there. Um, up here in this compartment, this was another apartment that was already here. And we have our bulletin board here with some pictures on it. Keeper calendar up there. Um, this is um, some of our uh, paperwork that we keep. And then this is our like shower caddy area now. Um, keep our towels and our shower caddies in here. Um, nice little cubby. Yep, works out good. Uh, that's one another thing. Here and here have been like a trillion different things since we started <laughs> van life or bus life. Um, but we think we finally got it figured out now. I think we finally have put everything where we wanted to. And um, we also found a home for the dog food uh, dish and the water dish. The water dish down here and the built in part of the bus with a fly flying around. <laughs> uh, dog food goes in there. And they got their own little caddy corner with toys and... Yeah, their toys are down there. Their little gate that we put in the door when we're stationary. But, yep, this is the front end. Yep. Moving along. It's the front end, people. Moving. You like my front end? Hmm? <laughs> Boo! I'm in bed. <laughs> Anyways, this is the lovely bedroom. I figured I could show you around much better back here than in the front. This is obviously where we sleep. Down there is the dog's bed, which you'll say, why do they have the foot of the bed? There's actually a foot and a half gap, right? Yeah. Foot and a half gap from where our bed ends and the window. And we have pillows and stuffed animals that they play with all shoved in there and they they like to get down in their bed. All you gotta tell them to do is go to bed and they go to their bed. Up here is a very messy but tried to be organized uh, hammock that we use for everyday clothing. We try to normally have 
about what five days five days worth of clothes up there because the rest of our clothes are under this heavy bed which is not a big deal but getting in and out of the bed every single day was becoming very tedious so we installed the hammock so we don't have to do that every day it's just every week or every other week we recycle out clothing and then my favorite part Jason put in a bread box it used to be in the living room it used to be out there but uh, since we remodeled everything now it's back here and it's my end stand where I put my glasses and the phone and most likely the laptop because I'm normally on that at night too and this is Jason's end stand where he puts his glasses and this lovely piece of artwork is from Jason's sister Karen and her family shout out to them because they always find the coolest things but uh she gave that to us very very recently and it's mag it's metal and it came with magnets so you can put magnets as you travel so yeah we put that up there so when we start traveling we can put little magnets everywhere we've been to and yeah that is the bedroom now where uh i think we're gonna go to the garage to the garage. To the garage. All right, let's head to the garage. Let's go. All right, before we go out to the garage, I wanted to show you guys um, our solar setup. Um, right here, we have our solar charge controller, right there. And as Ashley showed you already, um, down below uh, this cushion of the bench is our battery bank. We have two in there that are working right now. I got two out of that bus that um, we were salvaging stuff out of. Going to try to get those charged up and get those uh, as part of our battery bank. And then um, one thing that I also upgraded um, since our last video, uh, tour video, um, are these little LED lights that we got from Amazon. Um, they are extremely bright. Um, we were using little puck battery operated wireless uh, puck lights before and they they were bright when you first uh, put new batteries in them but they uh, were going through batteries like crazy so now these are hooked right into our solar power um, up on the roof we have 600 watts of solar panels up there there's two 300 watt uh, panels up there um, usually does the trick especially if we're getting lots of sun you can do anything you want during the day basically um at night we can run a fan uh charge our computer and uh charge our phones at night but it does what we need it to do uh let's go out to the garage all right everybody you found me at the garage area which is uh within the back door back side of the bed um we got tons of stuff under here this is everything that i be use on a daily basis uh for outside stuff it is right here accessible from the back uh, my tools um flashlight wind decks and stuff we even have some sunscreen there uh our really nice uh, lawn chairs that we got um as a really early christmas present from ashley's parents uh thank you mom and dad um, we have a little folding table, and my drill and stuff in there. Yep, we got all our basic stuff that I need. I have all my tools in this side that we needed for the remodel. And when we leave, our grill will be in there. Yeah, we'll put our fine our... room for our grill to be back in there. Yep. But that is the garage. Jason's man area. <laughs> Well, that was a tour video 2.0. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was better than the first one. <laughs> if you're a new viewer. Um, Make sure you subscribe. Yep, thank you for watching. Yes, thanks for watching. Go back and watch our original tour video. And comment and let us know if it was better or worse, which hopefully it was better. <laughs> Definitely better for us. Yes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we also are on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Patreon, we have been putting up a lot of special stuff on Patreon, podcasts, blooper reels, we have a Meals on the Bus series. 
series that we do. So yeah, yeah. head over there and Definitely check that go out. Definitely check it out. There's a lot of good content that we've been putting on there. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching and we hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up because that's what you do when you like something. But uh, we appreciate you guys watching and yep. hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Thanks as always. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.